You know, like anything, when you're a musician, you start growing and you know, you hear this, you hear that, and then I was just enthralled by the instrument, enthralled by Dee Dee Ramone, I'm enthralled by Horace Panter, great James Jamerson, and all those Motown songs and everything, and you start hearing it, and it just sort of gets into you, you know, and that's, just, that's all I want to do is, you know, be a bass player. I mean, if you look back at the 80s with the Omen Street and stuff, it was really rad. I mean, you know, everybody was sort of in bands and everyone supported everyone's bands. And we went on a tour, you know, we didn't have a van, we had a 69 Newport, and that was like my car I drove. Tim's dad, he was a carpenter, and he built a box and we put it on top, and we put the drums in there, and then the trunk was so big you could put a 15-inch speaker, and it was great. You know, it wasn't like, oh, you have to have a van. Well, we don't have a van. <laughs> so, I mean, and we stayed at punk houses, or sometimes, like in Texas, you know, we camped. You got out of it what you put into it. You know, it was like real DIY. Come on, Alan Z, let's go. Ah, fuck. I don't have the best technique in the world. Um, at least I've been told that my left-handed technique is sort of terrible. But I've always just sort of done what I could do just to get around stuff. So when I started taking lessons, you know, my teacher sort of looked at me and he basically took what I had and worked with that. He didn't try to like put me into a mold or anything. He was just like, okay, do this and how are you going to do it? So I just, you know, do what I do. You know, I can't do traditional like one, like reach like that. I can't do that big Jocko reach thing that they always teach you. And so I go like this. I just sort of make stuff up as I go along. You know, I was really into rockabilly for a long time. So I got this like Brian Sensor tape and he did this thing where he held his pick. That's the way I always just tried to do it. Just do what I do and, you know, have fun for it and go for it. You know, like, you know, just like, you know, like. What the hell does that mean? But it looks cool and it's fun. You know, because, you know, I'm not Horace Panter, I'm not John Etwistle, you know, or John Doe from X, you know, I sort of play it the way I thought I heard it. So it's always a little different and that's how you sort of get your technique, you know, or your style or whatever, because, you know, I could never play exactly what John Etwistle did or Horace Panter, or, you know, God forbid Jocko, you know? <laughs> so I just listened to these guys and tried to, you know, do what I heard. This is the first precision bass that I actually ever owned. I bought it in uh, 1987. It was just the bass you bought. It just has that sound. Fender does this, it's really good. I take something that really is, is pretty awesome and perfect and improved upon it without losing the spirit. This bridge here is pretty beefy. Oh, it's not too light, it's not too heavy. This neck feels like just a good P-Bass neck. You know, not too big, not too small. So a friend of mine called him like, it's like an AK-47 of bases. You can drag it through the mud, throw it off a truck, cold, hot, tune it up a little bit, and it's ready to go. What I tell people is this. Figure out something that makes you happy and do it the way you like to play. And try to find other people that like to play that are into just playing with you. You know, I know guys that are like, you know, they sit down and they do, they do their trills, they want to get technical, and they do, man, if that floats your boat, fuck yeah, I'm down, you know what I mean? And then there's other people that don't want to do that, you know what I mean? They just want to play, or just play on one string, for Christ's sake, and that's cool too. I mean, it's, it's art, you know, you should just do what the fuck you want to do, you know, and make music and just, you know, play as much as you can. Radical, I'll get the boat, the roots, the reggae, I'll